My name is Steve Stevens, the best sports consultant money can buy. I make more money betting sports than anybody in the world. I'm the one that tells you who to bet. I'm not a bookie, I'm the bookie killer. If money talks, then I got a lot to say. I'm on the grind trying to make a hundred thousand dollars a day. The game that I pick, believe me, it's a winner. What I know could get you rich, cause all I pick is winners. Welcome to Lost Bay. Money talks, money talks. Welcome to Lost Bay. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You're tuned into the VIP Sports Podcast. I'm Darren Otero, a.k.a. Steve Stevens, the bookie killer. Sitting here with my ride-along host, the paparazzi. What's up, brother? Well, man, it's opening day of baseball. We yes, it is. Tonight. Yeah, Good it is. Sports betting tonight. Oh, man, I couldn't be more excited. Boy, do we have a show for you guys today. Just like paparazzi said, opening day in Major League Baseball, the start of the Sweet 16 tournament. If you can't make money right now betting sports, something is definitely wrong with you. So make sure you DM us. Let me show you how to do it the right way. And, and, and I've heard about, you know, all week in the office that you are going to have some major play on one of these Sweet 16 games either tonight or tomorrow. Is that true? Oh, that's 100% true and something even better. I'm doing a giveaway that's going to blow people's mind. You know how I normally give out $2,500, $1,000, right. $500? Well, guys, be watching for Instagram over the next day or so. I'm doing a giveaway where I'm going to fly somebody and their friend out to Las Vegas to hang with me at my Final Four party. That will be one hell of a giveaway. I'm not done. I'm also going to give that person money to bet with, and I'm also going to give them my personal plays for free for the entire weekend. You talk about a giveaway, this is the best one I've ever done. Well, make sure that everybody enters it. Make sure you guys stay up on our social media so you can see all about this particular giveaway. You guys want to come hang with El Scorcho, watch the Final Four with me, make some money betting games all on my pocket? I got you. Anyway, guys, beautiful day out here in Vegas. March 28th, podcast number 402, and what it do. Well, it's bookie shoe is right up the fucking bookie's ass. <laughs> you ain't game. lying about that. Guys, you want to get a hold of us? 877-220-6540. Go to our website, VIPSportsLasVegas.com. Put your phone number in. We'll get back with you with a free pick. How do they follow us everywhere else, Pop? Well, you can follow us over at Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook over at VIP Sports LV. If you don't want to call, um, if you don't want to call the office, you can direct message Steve about doing business with him, and you will hear back with him immediately. Look for that blue check mark first for your own safety to make sure it's our page. Even though anybody can buy that blue check mark. For $10 now. Yeah, and make sure, guys, for your own good, if you ever get a guy giving you nine games in one day, know for sure that is not Steve Stevens. I want to give a very big shout-out to all active and retired U.S. veterans. Guys, any military that's looking to make some money betting sports, all you got to do is DM me. You'll get a free pick from me all day long. We appreciate you fighting and supporting our country. It's because of you guys. Guys like me can do what I do. And for that, from the bottom of my heart, we love you and we thank you. Today is MLB opening day, as we said earlier today. Here's the question people keep asking. Is baseball season the most serious slash profitable time of the year for the sports better? 1,000%. Well, you've explained why, and a lot of the reason you do it is you take dogs, so it's very profitable to you. <laughs> like, hitting 60% in MLB with underdog value is equivalent to hitting 75% in any other sport. Guys, with underdog value in baseball, it is so easy to make stupid money because especially in the beginning of the season, the lines are still soft. They're going off last year's power rankings. And like I said, it's a very soft and easy time for the sports better for the first couple weeks of baseball. Well, and, and you with your sources in spring training, Skipper being one of them, you know, you find out what a lot of teams are going to do pitching wise. If they're going to go with a pitcher for five innings versus seven or eight innings, and you use bets like first five innings where you use dog money on that as well. 100%. Guys, you don't just go in betting the side. You got totals out there. You got first five. There's so many different options in baseball where you can absolutely make money. And even though I, I'm not into live betting and all that type of stuff, if you do live betting right, you can actually grab some great odds after the second, third inning in these baseball games because I'm sure everybody remembers last year. All the top teams would always be winning the first six, seven innings. 
Then what happened, Poppy? Those shitty closers. Guys, closers in MLB baseball are not what they used to be. No. There's not that many good closers that come in the game, and you know they're shutting people down. No. Closers gave up several runs last year. So, remember, a lot of these top teams, you made a good point. You might want to look at the first five. Anyway, guys, uh, with that being said, what advice do I have for betters who want to bet baseball? I just gave them to you. Plain and fucking simple. Stay focused. Stay on the grind. Never bet more than what you originally planned on betting. You win the game, you live to see tomorrow. You lose a game, don't go chase it. These motherfuckers have been chasing. It's like chasing the dragon. Boy, that motherfucker's eventually going to catch you and kill your motherfucking And, and you know, I think you've said in years past, too, you don't need somebody to call and give you a $3 favorite. You don't need to be playing $3 favorites. There's way better options. $3? Somebody calls you up and gives you a $2 favorite. What, what, what kind of inside information is that? You guys really think you need to pay a sports consultant for a guy to give you a minus $200 game? Fuck out of here. Biggest series of opening weekend in MLB. Want to give a shout out to Mark D. Gregorio, Joey D., Ant D., all my homeboys out there that are Yankees fans. Uh, they take on the Houston Astros for four games. Well, now, your friend, the D. Gregorios, they get a lot of shout outs on here. Well, we hear Yankees, we hear Buffalo Bills. I don't see a lot of results. Do you think that, that their boys can bring it home this year? Well, listen, as much as I love them to death, uh, Buffalo, I've been rooting them in the last few years. You see that they just can't get it done. Yankees, Yankees are going to win some games this year. I don't know if they're going to go all the way and win a World Series, but uh, Yankees will get you paid. Houston Astros, another good team. What a great matchup to start off. Is Mark D. willing to get in the game, put that uniform on just like you? No, I am, though. I'm yeah. willing to do whatever it takes to get the job done. Anyway, guys, March Madness. Here are the most current NCAA championship odds. UConn, plus 210 to repeat. Houston, plus 500. Man, that's 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 a lot of odds they're giving that's, on Houston. That's attractive. Plus yes. 500? Put up 10,000, get a nice little 50 Gs for Houston to win it all. See, that's a nice little play. Uh, Purdue, plus 600. Arizona, plus 800. North Carolina, plus 1,300. Marquette, plus 1,300. Duke, plus 2,500. Can you just cross Duke off right off the bat? Uh, I think you could throw Duke off there. I don't think they're good enough to go and sweep and uh, go all the way to the championship. In your opinion, give me three teams to cross off that won't be there. Purdue, uh, Duke. And uh, probably in the end, Gonzaga. The Gonzaga on this list? Yeah, yeah, Gonzaga's on the next page. You just didn't see that there. <laughs> That's what, what happens when you got the cool shades like that. Well, you got to get rid of Marquette. Yeah. Right away. Uh, uh, I don't know. Marquette can win. I mean, Marquette, it depends. So you're telling me Marquette will make it further than Gonzaga? Uh, I personally People like counted Gonzaga. Gonzaga out right from the beginning. I personally like Gonzaga in the game a lot against Purdue, so I can't say that. Uh, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Basketball news, guys. College star Caitlin Clark has been offered $5 million to play in Ice Cube's Big Three League. Cube and uh, Clark can make history and break down even more barriers for women athletes. Well, let me give a little message to Caitlin Clark, okay? Take that $5 million immediately. Uh, Barstool's offering her how much, E? $10 million, and they're st- all allowing you to still play in the WNBA. Caitlin, listen to me very closely. You're a great basketball player, but you never know what the future holds. You get in a car accident, you break your leg, something happens. You go make as much motherfucking money right now as you possibly can. Little message from Steve Stevens, Caitlin. Sign with Barstool for the $10 million. Sign for $5 million with the Ice Cube League. And then go get those pennies that you're going to get from the WNBA and collect as many endorsements as you possibly can before it's too late. Because you are a hot commodity. And if you need a real agent that'll give you some real motherfucking money, you need to holler at your boy El Scorcho. I'll get you a quick $50 million. Now, my only problem, we were discussing this off air. I don't. I, I think Clayton Clark's going to come in and have a very good career. You said you were just hating on her earlier. Said she ain't going to do shit in the I said she's WNBA. Not be LeBron James. You said she's going to be Steph Curry. <coughs> I said there's people like Asia Wilson, Brianna Stewart who are already in the league, who are great players. In my opinion, already better than Caitlin Clark, and probably better than going to ever be than Caitlin Clark. Now, and why shouldn't they get $5 million? Oh, that's, that's what I'm trying to say. Their window's already closed. These are women that you're talking about already have championships the whole nine yards. This is a woman that's breaking down barriers. So don't you agree that she should take every fucking oh. contract she could possibly get right now? Absolutely, but I think more than that, I think the WNBA, Dave Portnoy, uh, Big Three, Ice Cube should all get together and build on the success of what the WNBA has going right now because women's basketball actually has a big movement going right now, and these ladies deserve to be paid, especially these top ones. 100% because they aren't making much money at all. No. And if Caitlin just had to depend on WNBA money, 
She wouldn't be all that rich. She needs a guy like Steve Stevens to go out there right now and get every absolute fucking penny. Right? Oh, I'm getting her sponsored by Tampon. I'm getting her sponsored by motherfucking Gatorade. Every fucking thing you could possibly think of. You know, I could just see the commercials now. During my game, how do I stay fresh? <laughs> I, I, I'm picturing you working on a deal with Pornhub or something like that. No, you're you talking, can't. Come you're on, talking about man. tampons. I'm thinking about Pornhub. Uh, okay, how many women in the WNBA are on their period while they're playing? Uh, you don't think that should be sponsored by Tampax? I don't know. I don't have the stat to that. Well, then you don't know about women, bro. Like I said, man. So, yeah, there's plenty of different angles you can hit in sponsorship for the women. Another bet that bettors are looking at, UConn versus the field. UConn plus 220 versus the field minus 330. Well, you don't minus, let's take anything minus 330. I mean, can UConn definitely repeat? They can absolutely repeat 100%. But like you said, there's there's... Houston on that list at plus $5 is extremely attractive. No doubt. March Madness, Sweet 16, Golden Nuggets. Grab your pen and paper, guys. Number one, UConn versus number five, San Diego State. UConn minus 11. UConn is 11-2 and two against the spread in their last 13 games. UConn is 6-1 and one to the under in their last seven games. UConn's head coach, Danny Hurley, is 11-3 and three against the spread in the NC double-A tournament throughout his and, career. And, and like I talked to you earlier also, last night we had UNLV go play against uh, Seton Hall. That's the Mountain West facing the Big East. Yeah, Same Big East beat the fucking doors down. By, by almost 30 points. Could have been more, 40-50. I'm not saying that'll be this big a blowout here, but the Big East over a Mountain West team will definitely show the class in here. UConn minus the points, probably the way to go tonight. I do like that. Number two, Marquette versus number 11, NC State. Marquette in this matchup, minus six. NC State is five and one against the spread in their last six games. NC State has hit the over in four straight games. Number one, North Carolina versus number four, Alabama. UNC minus four and a half, over under, very high, 173.5. Well, I mean, these teams do score a lot of fucking points. They do. Uh, over under, 173. I'd have to say that line is pretty high, but... Odds makers know what they're doing at this point of the year. Could that be the game that you have the big play on? No. Uh -huh. The highest total, by the way, ever since 1995. Wow. Yeah. Uh, UNC coach Herbert Davis, 8-0 against the spread in tournament play as a coach. UNC 5-1 and to the over in their last six games. Now, Alabama 10-2 and to the over in their last 12 games. So on paper, the game obviously looks like it's going over. Everybody and their mom wants to bet the, the game over. That's why they set that line at 173.5. Let's right. see what kind of balls you got. Right. Let's see. That's a high, high number. Yeah. Very interesting matchup to me. Number two, Tennessee, minus 2.5 versus number three, Creighton. Creighton 2-0 and against the spread in the first two rounds. Tennessee's head coach, Rick Barnes, is just 10-22 and against the spread in the NCAA tournament, 6-19 and against the spread when not at least 10-point favorites. Tennessee's coach does not get the job done during the tournament. He does, and it spells it out right here, and Creighton's a very dangerous team. Creighton put up a lot of points, and uh, Tennessee has an off-day uh, shooting Good to be looking at history again, and Rick Barnes going home early. No doubt. Another great game. Number one, Purdue, minus five and a half versus number five, Gonzaga. Gonzaga has been red hot, 2-0 and against the spread uh, in the tournament. Purdue has been a dominant 2-0 and against the spread in the tournament. Here's the question, Poppy. Is Gonzaga's offense execution too much for Purdue, or can Purdue continue to dominate on the defensive end? Uh... Purdue can definitely continue to dominate. I like Gonzaga in this game. I think this game will be a close game. Definitely take the five and a half points in there. I think Gonzaga is going to win this game outright. Uh, but Purdue is a good team. Purdue is a good team, but their guards are suspect. I they agree. have to have the guards have to have a good game in order for them to win this uh, without any shadow of a doubt. You can play all the defense you want. If your guards ain't scoring for you, it's not going to take you. So this game is going to go down and depend on Purdue's guards and how they perform. Yeah, Zach Eady can't put up 40 points in this game, and if Gonzaga can get the number in the 70s to 80s, will be very hard for Purdue to beat this team. But uh, with that said, it is about time for the Gonzaga to go home. It's always time for Gonzaga to go home. They never make it to the finals except a couple of years ago. Number two, Arizona, which is a team that a lot of people are betting, minus 7.5 versus number six, Clemson. Arizona's 5-0 and to the under in their last five games. Clemson 3-0 and to the under in the last three games. Does this game look like under on paper to me? It looks like an under on paper. It looks like a game that I think is going to be close. Seven and a half points, way too many points in this game. 100%. Here's a stat for you, Poppy. When Arizona wins, they usually win big. 
Arizona has won 27 games this season, and 22 of those wins have all come with double-digit wins. Well, they didn't cover a double-digit that many times, and they had a lot of games where they were big favorites. They didn't cover. Had a lot of games they were big favorites. Lost outright, to be honest with you. So this is a suspect team. When they play good, they're as good as any team in the country. But when they play those bad games, look out. Did you not just hear what I just said? They've I, won 27 games this season, yeah. and 22 of them they've won by double digits. They did. They did but so they you also, just said a lot of times they were double, didn't win. Uh, there were plenty of times. 22 out of win. 27 wins they won by double digits. That, that's correct. They were a top, a top 10, top 15 team. However, they were favored several times uh, by 8.5 to 12 points against Washington State, lost outright. Yeah. They lost games outright that they were double-digit favorites. So what I'm saying is – well, they've won 90% of their games by double digit out of their 27 wins. When they're playing sharp, they're as good as any team in this country. But when they throw these clunkers, then trust me, you don't want to be minus 7.5 in a well, 16 game. To what you just said, the trend, Clemson's 2-0 uh, in the tournament as underdogs. Yes, sir. <laughs> Uh, this might be the best game of the weekend without any shadow of a doubt. Number one, Houston, minus four versus number four, Duke. Very low total, 134 and a half. Now, here's your question. This is my big play that I'm betting six figures on. The stat, Houston has allowed just 57 points per game for the entire season. The trend, Duke is 10 and three against the spread in their last 13 games, 12 and two to the under in their last 14 games. But... Be careful. Duke has lost six straight games outright when they are the lower-seeded team. Do you think people, when they hear the name Duke, still think of the Christian Leitners and the Bobby Hurleys and the Krzyzewskis? Uh, is that what they think of with Duke? Are they thinking 30 years ago the UNLV? Well, let me ask you this. When you think of the UNLV Rebels, do you think of Larry Johnson and, 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 and Stacey Ogman? When I think Ogman of UNLV, and, yes. When I think of them now, no. No, not at all. So, no, people ain't thinking that. But they better be careful for Duke next year. They're going to have a super team. I see Duke going home. Real simple. I see Duke going home as well. Another big game with two teams that have uh, been hot lately. Number two, Iowa State, which I've made a lot of money on this year, uh, versus number three, Illinois. Uh, like I said last week, number three, Illinois is red hot to the over, and they are now 18-3 and three to the over in their last 21 games. Illinois star Terrence Shannon is averaging 31 points per game in his last six games. This guy is an absolute fucking beast. He is. The reason why he's not getting the attention that he should be getting he has a little case pending yes. uh, that has to do with rape. Yes. So you're not going to be exploited as a great player. This guy's talent definitely overshines the credibility he's been getting. Now, let's say Illinois makes a run and goes to the Final Four. Are they going to have no choice but to put him in a little bit of a better light or tell his story? No, they're not going to say anything. They just want him to blend in right now. Like I said, um, that's the whole reason why they're not pumping this guy. Shannon Jr., is he can go to the hole anytime he wants. He's a guy that control can control the game at any time he wants. He's averaging 31 points. What else do you want? What he's trying to do is lay low, get through this tournament, and quietly get drafted into the NBA. Smart plan. Yeah, yeah. And then if he gets convicted on the rape or whatever, he's going to have a hard time with the WN with, with the NBA. So he'll end up probably going to maybe uh, overseas, then the D, D League. But he will eventually end up in the NBA because they don't give a fuck at right. the end of the day. MLB, Dodgers superstar Otani held a press conference and said, he loves to gamble. No, my bad. <laughs> he said he never bet on sports using a bookmaker. You like how he said, I've never bet on sports using a bookmaker? I like his terminology. Yeah, he's very, very sharp. Well, you've bet on a lot of sports, Otani. That's what you've been doing. Uh, he said that he's never be uh, paid off any amount of money that his longtime friend and uh, interpreter owed to the bookmakers. His friend uses Otani's account to pay back portions of a $5 million gambling debt. Not only is Otani and his interpreter uh, gamblers, but they're fucking terrible. Brother, I got, I got, I got one thing for you. VIPSportsLasVegas.com. Let's get you signed up, get you back on track, get that interpreter making money. At the end of the day, you deserve it. Now, to lose five million dollars, you got to be a pretty terrible fucking better. Will you hire a Japanese? Who do you think? Who do you think's worse, Otani's interpreter or Mozzie? Uh, Mozzie. Uh, no sure. fucking doubt about it. Fucking worst capper in the now, fucking world. Are you going to teach Stu Japanese, or are you going to get an interpreter to, to hire Otani's man to call you? No, but I like what he's doing. You know what I mean? I should have used an interpreter when I caught my case thirty years ago. Blamed it all on him. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Nice. What the fuck? Moving on to NHL. Don't forget, guys, about my first period hockey totals. Tampa Bay Lightning are 9-1 to the over in the first period 
in their last 10 games. There's not anybody listening to this show right now that's won nine out of their last 10 hockey games. No. Nope. Period. Let alone nine, nine, nine and one uh, in the first period. Little, little note, very embarrassing, your Vegas Knights. You're, you're repping your Vegas Knights, and they are an embarrassment right now. Probably, probably going to be the team who won the Stanley Cup last year and doesn't make the playoffs this year. That ain't happening. They're going to make the playoffs. Are but they? we were just talking about this in the office the, the other day. Stu was talking about how hot they were. Yeah, no, they're not playing well at all. They're all confused. They're not playing together as a team. And, yes, we're in disarray right now. So, Knights, I suggest you get your shit together and remember that Vegas strong and get back at it so we can get into these playoffs. Yes. San Jose, by the way, 5-0 and in the first period over in their last five games. Yeah, one of the worst five teams in hockey, but as soon as you say first period totals, boom, 5-0. and Kings, 5-0 and to the first period in their last five games. Guys, we have a full slate right now. College basketball is in full effect. Sweet 16 is here. MLB, Major League Baseball open in day today. Couldn't be more excited. Guys, if you're in the Las Vegas area, stop by the office. We're giving out free t-shirts. We got hamburgers and hot dogs in the parking lot. We're celebrating like there's no fucking tomorrow. And at the end of the day, you guys should be celebrating too. You guys want to make a second income? You want the finer things in life? You want to get that new car? You want to put your kids through college? You want to buy that house you've been looking for? Don't forget, sports betting is a trillion-dollar industry, and you deserve your fair share. Anything else you want to say about this tournament, Poppy? Well, the tournament's got some great games in it. Make sure you call VIP Sports for it. You said the new American dream is money, Rolls Royce, and pussy. So you're the man. Well, no, it used to be baseball, apple pie, and Chevrolet. Yeah. Now it's baseball, Benny Hanna's. And Rolls Royce. All right. Well, you're, you're, you're the man again. You're living the dream. <laughs> no doubt about it. Anyway, guys, don't forget about that promotion I'm running. Two people. Somebody is going to get chosen to fly a friend out here to Las Vegas to watch the tournament with your boy El Scorcho, get money from me, and my personal plays. It's going to be the biggest giveaway I've ever done, and somebody is going to be out here at my Final Four party Kicking it with your boy, El Scorcho. Now, Ma Mozzie, you're not welcome into this because he'll go and sign up a thousand times. <laughs> now, he'll be the dude outside taking pictures and <laughs> yeah, shit, trying yeah. to be like some groupie shit. Get <laughs> yeah. in, you know what I mean? But, guys, for real, nobody is getting money like me right now. My personal plays are hitting 80%. My first period hockey totals, 90% over the last 30 days. Now, if you could actually look at somebody else and they tell you that they have a stat they've been hitting 90% at, make sure you look them in the eye when they tell you that. That way you know what they look like when they're lying. Let's go have a kick-ass tournament. MLB is here. And for all you guys that want to get paid, DM now and be looking for that promotion I'm running. And remember one thing, don't let the players be the only ones that get paid. I'll see you in the winner's circle. It's Steve Stevens. I bust your bookie head open. Split it to the white meat. I ain't joking. Me a dirt bomb in the ghost float. Straight OG like that Kush I be smoking. It's way too potent for rookies to come hit it. A little white girl around, I might sniff it. Popping bub in the club, so twisted. My pops keeps telling me to go get it. So I'm at the sports book, betting big on the Clippers. I'm talking about five figures. I need a few shots of liquor. Might need another zipper if the bomb play me. Fuck around and put a half a meal on Tom Brady. When it comes to betting sports, Steve Stevens a beast. Need a certified winner called VIP Sports. I got too many felonies to ride around with my Glock. So sure to keep it since I got shot in Vegas like pirates. Here and I.